Matt Crampton on the left, Sir Chris Hoy. Chris Hoy, who hasn't put a foot wrong in this World Cup competition, coming off the back of the national championships that finished a week ago, and he never put a foot wrong there, picking up three national championship jerseys. This is Crampton nearest to us. Well, they're playing Mission Impossible here. I'm just wondering <laughs> if they're playing that for Matt Crampton. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a little bit unfair, perhaps. <laughs> it's a bit undaunting, though, isn't it? Mission Impossible for old Matt Crampton. I hope he's not listening to this, otherwise he'll feel defeated before he starts. So, Sir Chris Hoy is out on the track already, ready for action. 33 years of age now, Chris, sharp as a razor, keen as ever. And if anything, stronger. And uh, everything for him is all about the 2012 Olympics in London. And here he is, Matthew Crampton, the young pretender to Hoy's crown. Crampton, 10 years, Hoy's junior. So this is race one in the men's sprint final. Contest for gold and silver. Here is to us, Matt Crampton, on the outside, Chris Hall. Two riders from Great Britain here, contesting the top position. What do you think Crampton's best chance here is? Well, <laughs> I think his best chance is probably second place, to be honest, but, uh, <laughs> well, it's a tough one. It's, um, whether he leads him out or lays off and tries to rush at him, it's, it's a tall order, to be honest. He's got, he's got that extra ride against Jason from the semi-finals in his legs, so... How much will that sort of affect him? Well, it, it could go either way. I mean, it, it's, it's definitely going to be fatiguing, but then, you know, psychologically making the final at the World Cup, it's going to give him a bit of a boost, but then, again, he's coming up against Chris Hoy, so... Who's masterclass. <laughs> Indeed. Right, so we're getting ever nearer to the line and the bell and at the moment Crampton just looking over that right shoulder to see where the uh, attack is going to come from now it's one lap to go in race one and it's Crampton leading this one out look for the horsepower of Hoy here he comes right over the top of Crampton now then when they level up can he get it, uh, ahead he does easy Chris Hoy takes it 69.6 kilometers per hour and he wins race one so Chris Hoy scores a big psychological blow there and Crampton must surely now feel as though he is just going to race it out for silver. Here we go. Let's have a look at this, uh, Craig. Matt didn't do anything wrong, but you know, as I said, just, just didn't quite have the horsepower. And now uh, you've got a guy like Chris doing 10.34 around the outside of you, then... There's not much else you can do, really. Sport, speed and pace of Hoy is awesome. It does, and he's, he's making the, even fast riders like Matt look quite ordinary, to be right, honest. Riders of mediocrity, and really, these are world class, aren't they? In, uh, well, 10.0 in, in a qualification 200 is uh, it's definitely not ordinary. And so uh, they are class, but this man is master class, so he's one up. We're going to wait for them to come back out onto the track shortly, and then they'll be uh, contesting race two if it's